to answer the question of what the vision of Menno Nerds is, here I am driving in my car, trying to contemplate where this all started. Um, those of you who came in later in the game, it all started with a hashtag on Twitter, just geeking out over something really strange and getting excited over something Anabaptist or Mennonite. And uh, I think it was Chris Lenton who actually did it first, and then I kind of picked up on it, and a couple of other folks grabbed, up, grabbed onto it. So it was really, Menno Nerds started out as something fun. And I think if there's any vision really that I want to put out there as to what I want it to be, is I want it to be fun. Um, the blogs are part of it. Um, because we all, you know, many of us really write blogs and do a lot of blogging and a lot of writing, and it's it's part of who we are. And uh, um, I want us to be able to uh, contribute in that way as well. Um, but I don't want it to be only about blogs, as uh, some folks have pointed out. Um, Dealing with blogs, you deal with a lot of heavy theology. You tend to attract a certain kind of person. And when it comes to having fun, I find that I have the most fun when I'm with a whole bunch of people. That all of them are different um, in unique and strange ways. Whether it's because of gender, whether it's because of culture or or background or or age or whatever, I have a lot of fun when I'm with a lot of different kinds. Of and so, uh, that's why I don't want it to be just about blogs. I want it to be a community of people who are excited about Anabaptism, not just Mennonite, but just generally the, that Jesus-centered Anabaptism, um, who order the lives around it, and then can have fun in the process of doing so. And the whole nerdy aspect of it is, is the whole social media thing, blogs. Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, Hangouts, um, web pages, pictures, things like that. It's, whether or not you're a, a geeky nerd like me who likes Star Trek and science fiction and everything like that, really, uh, I don't think that's necessarily a characteristic. It's we, we like the tech. We like this new media that we that we have found and, and how Anabaptism is being picked up within that new medium. It's really kind of interesting to watch what's going on out there. Um, so, if I were to say what we wanted to do with, with Menno Nerds um, and Anabaptist Alliance and, and all that kind of stuff, I, I want it to be about community. I want it to be about community that can have fun, community that can support each other, community that will pray for each other, disciple each other, correct each other if we um, and do all these different things by way of social media and email and such. And somehow we can build this kind of community online, outside, and necessarily having to be physically connected. And then add to that, have meetings like when Drew and I sat down and talked about racism or um, meeting up with Chris Nichols and, and, and comparing notes about cancer journeys. Uh, and even the vision of getting together in some city, whether it's Denver or St. Louis or Timbuktu or, or whatever, and, and having a whole bunch of us just get together for some fun sometime. Um, I like that idea. I, I want this to be about that kind of building of community um, beyond just you know, what we experience every day and expand it into that social media realm. So, Pondering is that's kind of what what I, what I want to see. Um, so when I look at Anabaptist Alliance on Google Plus, I don't want it to just be a boys' club with theological blogs uh, and heavy topics. I want it to be uh, sharing life together with Anabaptism behind it all. When I look at the Mental Nerds blog syndication, I want it to be the sharing of ideas. Again, I don't want it to just be theological blogs. I I like what Carmen Andres writes in, in her 
critique of, of culture and movies and I mean that's not heavy theology that's that's movies it's popular culture um, uh, I like what uh, Jennifer shared in, in her journey with with her miscarriages on her blog that's not deep theological it's a personal story a personal history reading what Ryan writes on the rumblings not Ryan Robinson but Ryan Duick on the rumblings that's not deep theology. He's sharing some personal stories about his life. Um, and then there's the fun stuff. We, you know, throw up some goofy blogs. I do a Friday funny every now and then. I would like to see more humor, more fun, more enjoyment um, in what we do. Um, and not always have to be so serious all the time. You know, God gave us a beautiful world. He gave us a sense of humor. He gave us this, this sense of laughter, of joy, and... and I'd like to see that. Um, I want to experience that with the folks that I interact with. And so, that, you know, that's my vision. I'm, I don't want to dictate to everyone what we should do. I don't want to tell them this is the way it is. But this is the picture that I have in my mind. And when I started thinking about making more of a network out of that Menno Nerds hashtag a year or so ago, that's kind of what I foresaw. Sharing of blogs, but more connection, more community, more fun, more enjoyment out of things. And perhaps with some of the stuff we've been doing with the Google Hangouts and all the emphasis on blogs and everything like that. I've lost sight of my own vision. So, those are my thoughts. That's kind of what I'm... It's kind of where I'm going with this. And, and I would really... I just want you guys to think about that. That as we, we move forward with, with uh, you know our book project on bringing in more bloggers on figuring out how to diversify our voices and everything I, I want you to keep in mind that, that at least the vision that I have is a community um, and everything that goes along with community not just deep theology but a family Families have fun. Family plays, families play games. They laugh together. They cry together. They pray together. They worship together. And and that's kind of what I want to see. What I'm hoping for. Um, and if I, if you guys don't see that, that's that's fine. I I know you guys see me as the leader, as as the as the person who uh, is in charge of it all. But quite frankly, I don't want to be. It's not where I want to be. I just I. I want to have some fun with this. Um, geez, I'm tearing up. I didn't want to do that. Um, so, I give it over into your hands. I've, I've, I've told you what my vision is. I've told you what I wanted. So, um, if that's what you guys like as well, then we can move forward with that. If not, then... As I said, I don't want to be a leader. I don't want to be in charge. So if that's not where you guys want to go, then we can talk about that. We can find something else. We can do something else, do something different. So, well, that's my thoughts um, for whatever they're worth. Thanks.